Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk to you about traveling with your dog inside the cabin of the airplane and our experience traveling from Montreal, Canada to Mexico City with our dog inside the cabin of the aircraft and we flew with Air Canada. So first, uh, when you know that uh, you are going to travel and you're going to take your dog with you, so you that's what we did. We check with the airplane company uh, what is what we need to do so we can have our dog with us in the cabin. So uh, in our case with Air Canada, we I called them and then they told me that I have to have a health and vaccination certificate with uh, with us and then I also check. Uh, with the country that you're going to and then see uh, what they request also as a document to enter the country with uh, your dog. So in our case, uh, because we're going to Mexico, so they just request a vaccination a certificate, a health certificate and also the microchip. So that's what we had to do. So we went to see our vet, the vet that takes care of uh, our dog. And we requested the vet to give us a health and vaccination certificate. The cost for us was uh, 50 uh, Canadian dollars for the consultation and 100 dollars for the health and vaccination certificate. Uh, you might want also to include in the cost in, in like in fact, other vaccinations and uh, all the extra costs like the microchip if your dog doesn't have a microchip to everything that you're gonna have to pay so you can travel with your dog. In our case it was $150 to have all the documents that you need to enter Mexico. Another uh, cost that you have to take into consideration is the cost of flying with your dog in the cabin. And I really recommend and suggest that you call the company before uh, flying to uh, include the dog in your trip. So that's what we did. I called uh, Air Canada and I told them that I wanted to include uh, our dog, Leo, uh, to fly with us in the cabin. So on the phone, over the phone, they asked me the breed of the dog, everything to see if the dog actually is allowed to go in the cabin because there is some breeds that uh, you cannot really uh, bring with you in the cabin. And then in the end, pay the fee. That is, uh, for Air Canada, is $100. So in the end, I pay the fees and then like this, my dog was added to our plane ticket to Mexico. Then, when you have taken care of all the documents, comes to the day that you have to go to the airport for your trip. For us, it was actually very straightforward. Uh, there was nothing uh, major that we needed to take care of because prior to going to the airport, as Mariana just explained, we had prepared all the documents. So we knew it should be smooth. At the checking counter of Air Canada, um, they didn't really check anything. Uh, I think they knew that with our itinerary, we had a dog with us, yeah. it showed, but uh, everything was very clear. They didn't even ask for the dog, like uh, he was with us, but uh, behind our carry-on and all that, and uh, they didn't even weigh him, they didn't ask for the size or anything, we had everything prepared, we had his own uh, bag that have to have in the cabin, but they didn't really uh, ask for anything at the check-in counter. Then, when you go through security, it's very important that uh, you remove his leash, his collar, everything you have to remove, and his bag itself also. Everything goes under the X-ray machine. Him, uh, he had to come with us, uh, one of us usually at the airport, one of us uh, carries him with us to go through the metal detector. This way, uh, the metal detector doesn't beep, so you don't need to go through extra security and extra like uh, checks that they do at the airport. So that also for us was very smooth, uh, very uh, calm and relaxed. Much more, uh, much more 
much smoother than I thought it was yeah, going to be. Yeah, yeah, because it was actually yeah. also, I have to add, it was our first time traveling with him and international uh, travel as well. So uh, it was much smoother than what we, we had in our mind. Yes. Then when you go to the gate to check in, um, also, we had no issues. Uh, we decided to walk with him until the uh, the aircraft itself. So through the um, jet bridge, he was still like walking with us. At the at the door of the airplane, unfortunately, the Air Canada flight attendants. I don't know if it is the protocol or they were a little bit like strict. They did not let me enter the aircraft. Uh, walking with him so they told me that I have to first put him inside his bag before I'm allowed to even enter the aircraft which is okay it's their protocol but uh, our dog he put a little bit of a fight with me <laughs> to put him inside the, the bag but we managed uh, the unfortunate thing with our flight was the flight itself was delayed by two hours so we we finished the boarding, I think, and we were inside, inside the, plane, the plane, but then the plane, uh, the flight itself was delayed because in Montreal, I think it, the temperature was very cold. Then the aircraft was in a queue to go through de-icing that they spray the wings and all the other parts of the airplane to make sure there's no ice buildup. And uh, I think this was the main uh, reason for the delay in our flight. And uh, finally we flew, but there was two hours of delay with the dog inside the bag and the bag has to absolutely go in front of your, your legs under the seat in front of you. So basically one of us cannot have a, a personal item or carry-on, let's say. Uh, because they say, okay, one person has a carry-on, the other person, the carry-on is basically replaced by the dog. And when you're inside the, on the plane, you have to put the dog inside the bag, under the seat in front of you, especially during takeoff and landing. That's very important. Um, the flight attendants, again, were very, very strict with that too, to make sure that the dog absolutely stays inside the bag. And because his bag is in a way that you can even open a little like section with a zipper, that the head comes out. But on that flight, they told us no, the no. whole body has to be inside the bag. I'm gonna put the link of the bag that we used to fly with him in the, the description mm -hmm. so you can see which bag we were using to fly with him. And then the flight also, uh, I don't know, for some reason, it was very, very hot. Usually, 99% of the time, inside the plane, I'm really cold. That uh, flight that we took was really, really hot. So at some point, uh, the dog inside the bag, he was panting very, very like severely. So we were a bit worried, but uh, no, everything worked out. And um, we finally made it to Mexico. Now, Mariana is going to talk to you about uh, what we did when we arrived at Mexico airport. So uh, we arrived in Mexico City and uh, around uh, 2 a.m., like in the mid of the night, and then uh, we had our dog with us. We went through um, the immigration, uh, which was very easy. They didn't even ask anything about the dog, even though he was with us. Uh, we got our luggages, everything, and then on our way out of the airport, there is uh, the agricultural office that you have to go and then declare that you're bringing uh, an animal to the country. This is the moment where our papers that we're bringing from Canada were checked. So the lady, uh, she, saw, she checked the health certificate, the vaccination certificate, and then uh, she asked for a lot of information, uh, information from us our address in Canada, phone number and everything else and then she prepared a paper that is um, an import permit so it's uh, they are allowing us to import uh, the dog inside uh, Mexico 
and this paper she prepared maybe like in 10 minutes it was very very easy very fast and very pleasant the lady at the counter she was very nice and then in 10 minutes we were out and there was no fees to pay uh, for this import permit and then once you have this document you just have to show again when you are really live in the area where you get the luggages and everything else so they check that you actually got the import permit for the dog and then uh, you're good to go yeah. and uh, last thing to add the staff at the airport uh, everybody very very friendly very very cooperative and like they really made it super easy for us we yeah. had no issues uh, whatsoever mm, nothing like we just did what we are supposed to do and everything went very smooth very smooth so that's it for this video um, stay tuned for other videos like this because we also traveled to several other countries after mexico and we will be doing more videos about our experience in those countries as well uh, so those videos are going to come up in the next few weeks so stay tuned and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also give us a like. We'll see you soon.